Katie. It's called the Dayton Mall Area Master Planning Project, and it's in its earliest stages. Right now, officials are looking to hire a consulting firm to help identify what should be included or improved in the area. It's known as Miami Township's commercial core. The Dayton Mall stands tall at the corner of 725 and 741, with countless shops, businesses, and restaurants surrounding it. Well, the Dayton Mall area is still one of the biggest generators of sales tax revenue for Montgomery County. And Miami Township officials plan to keep it that way. With over 3 million square feet of retail space, the mall continues to expand. Right now, construction is underway to build a Dick's Sporting Goods store. It's all in an effort to remain competitive. City planners are entertaining all ideas, such as adding residential areas. A few hotels have already been built. Also, more entertainment amenities and different types of restaurants and shops. I find myself always frequenting the same big box stores for my shopping, and I would like something that's just a little bit more unique and not having to travel outside of the community to go get something that's unique. Miami Township resident Marty Egger says she shops the Dayton Mall area several times a week and would like to see less Macy's or Eddie Bauer. Well, I only live a couple miles away, so this is our area, and I don't travel to any other mall. I don't go up to the Green or to the Fairfield unless I'm looking for something specific. City planners estimate the master plan will take a couple of years to devise and several years to implement. We obviously have a lot of small business owners and a lot of very large companies. Uh, that are located out there, um, and they all have uh, different needs and concerns. We want to make sure that we're, you know, fully examining that. Now, I asked if this master plan idea came as a result of something not happening the way planners envisioned with Austin Landing. I was told no. Austin Landing was designed more as an office corridor with some amenities such as the Coles and Kroger. Now, for more information on this plan, we've provided the link to the city's website under web links on our homepage at WDTN.com. Reporting live, Alexa Ashwell, 2 News.